And there's nothing like a tornado to give us a big dose of perspective. No doubt the people in that neighborhood in Runnels are just are just grateful to have escaped with their lives, which we know did not happen for six people in Madison County last night for adults and two little kids under the age of five. Drone 13 giving us a live a live view now of the destruction along Carter Road. This is a gravel road south of Winterset. You see both sides of the road with total destruction. You can sort of make out uh, the, the, uh, the metal roof of a pole barn, but you also see right down through the middle of it. Uh, there's no nothing that was left untouched there. Really clear image, too, of the, the width of the path that this thing took through there. Dozens and dozens of farmsteads and homes look like this. We, we started seeing these cars show up this morning, and, and now it's just miles long. The line of people showing up to help. Jerry Ann, you said earlier in the show, you and, and the other meteorologists who were keeping people safe yesterday with those real-time updates that we're so grateful for, uh, you said you've never seen a day like this. No, uh, 20 years I've been yep. forecasting the weather for Iowa, but it was just the same storm system that kept producing these damaging, deadly I, tornadoes. I heard Amber Alexander say yesterday on the air, it's been on the ground for two and a half hours, and I thought there's, there's no way, it's got to be two and a half mm -hmm. minutes. It was like two and a half hours. Yeah, it tracked almost 160 miles across the state. Started in western Iowa, ended in eastern Iowa, but it yeah. dropped several different tornadoes across the state. We're focusing on Madison County this morning just because that's where we're seeing the most damage, right. and unfortunately, six people lost their lives. So March 5th will be a day many Iowans remember.